Division in Afeni Ferre as members disagree over candidates to support in 2023. And the Southeast governors raise alarm over insecurity in the region. This is Post Politics. I am Mary Anacom. Leader of Pan Yoruba Social Political Group Afeni Fere, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, has explained the reason behind the absence of the endorsement uh, at the endorsement ceremony of the presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, in Akure on Sunday. Adebanjo, in an interview with Newsmen on Sunday, said he was not expected to attend the meeting where Tinubu was endorsed as. His support for Peter Obi was already known. Recall that the leader of the pan yoruba social political group, Afeni Ferry, Pa Ruben Fasoronti, and several other West Southwest leaders had endorsed Tinubu on Sunday at Fasoronti's residence in Akure, the Ondo state capital. Well, joining us to break this down is uh, Biodon Shoumi. He's a political analyst and a veteran journalist. And also joining us is Opunabo Inko Tarya, a civil rights advocate. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Glad to have you join us. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Good evening, Maria. And uh, good evening, Nigerians. Great. I'll start with you, Mr. Shoumi, because you obviously are from the Southwest, so you'd be able to give us some insight from a Yoruba um, perspective. Now, we've seen okay. um, early with, earlier on where Pa Adebanjo had said that the Afeni Ferre um, stands by Peter Obi. Of course, that's one way or the other, ruffle the feathers of many. And now we're seeing um, Fasheronti also endorsing his own candidate. Let me start with the basic, you know, for this conversation. Uh, how does Afeni Ferre, as a pan Yoruba group affect the votes of the people in the Southwest or anybody whatsoever who is a Yoruba person? How does what? How does the position of an Afeni Ferre leader or Afeni Ferre as a group affect the votes of the average Yoruba person or who they pick as okay. a candidate? Okay. Um, Afeni Ferre occupies a very important uh, post in the socio-cultural world of the Yoruba. It mingles in politics at different points in time in relation to the interest of the Yoruba ethnic nationality. And quite often has made interjection in national affairs, but with the view to promote and protect Yoruba's interests. And that is the affirmative theory known to the Yoruba. In relation to the current situation, we have a situation where the national chairman, after the unfortunate, you know, grievous uh, death, you know, killing mother of his daughter, decided to take a break. Because you do not retire from a sanitary leadership, don't retire. It's like post for life. That's how it has always been. And therefore, he decided to step aside and appointed an acting leader in Chief Ayo Adibanjo. Since 2021, Chief Ayo Adibanjo has taken hold of the leadership of our periphery, but has hardly called meetings to ratify decisions taken by him that was already causing some problems internally. The Peter Obi issue only brought the whole thing to the fore. If the real disagreement is about the fact that Chief Ayadi Banjo will take decision and then announce it as a penitentiary position without consulting with other leaders of a including the leader in each of the state chapters. So that is what they found abhorrent. Now, when the OB incident came, 
many people were alarmed that it's time to if I your debanjo is called to order. Otherwise, Chief Ayodibanjo will do more in the name of Afeni Ferry without the support of the entire leadership. So, Tinubu came in. That was a veritable opportunity to make the statement. Obi and Tinubu both are caught in the internal disagreement of Afeni Ferry. The current crisis is not about Tinubu or Peter Obi. It's a battle between a handful who are in the position of leadership. And there are just about four of them. Mm. And the entire mem leadership members, leadership members of Afeni Ferry. That's exactly what happened. What simply, what has played out now is that the whole thing has come to the fore, is now in the open. Fata Fashoroti was asked to take over the leadership that he should resume his duty. After all, Chief Ayuade Banjos is in an acting capacity. He was singularly appointed by Papa Fasorotti, and his appointment has not been ratified. And because it has not been ratified, it is not a substantive appointment. Okay. And therefore, Chief uh, Papa Ayuade Fasorotti decided to step back in and take over the leadership. That is exactly what is going on. Nothing to do with Tinumbu, nothing to do with Fita Obi. It's an internal crisis which everybody is trying to cover up. You know, decision-making crisis which everybody is trying to cover up. Unfortunately, the politicians are now, you know, the, 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 the poster boy. They are now the, the ones caught in the middle. Okay. Let me move away from you. I'll come back to you because you, you, you're you giving us some of the nitty-gritty. But to you, Opunabo, you okay. are obviously a, an onlooker. You're looking from the outside in. But then from a political um, you know, perspective, um, how do two, two men who have one vote each, might I say, um, have wield so much power, so much so that um, it, it, it sounds... It, it sounds like they can sway the votes of certain people who totally subscribe to the Afeni Ferry um, pan Yoruba group. Um, what's the, what's the um, for the want of a better word, what's the ideology behind this in the first instance? The network is so poor. Are you asking me? Yes. So I'm asking, how, how can two men who only have one vote each be able to wield so much power that it seems like they can sway the whole, um, you know, Southwest, those especially who subscribe to Afeni Ferry, uh, to vote for people who they think would be the better choice for an election. How does that work? Well, it's a bad group. And it is, it is believed that they respect it. Yoruba men and members of the Afeni Ferry, those with the drivers, the weight, the influence, they have the clout and they have the followers. And so, as a group, they, <coughs> excuse me, it is their belief and conviction that they can influence the Yoruba uh, tribe, so to speak. But I wish to uh, state this and to um, uh, my dissent from what my my brother said. Can you hear me, Opunabo? I think. I don't like the... Okay, we lost your connection can you hear me? a bit. Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, first you can't have two captains on the ship. Am I clear? Sorry, am I clear? Yes. I think I have to be as fast as I can because of the network. You can't have two captains on the ship. That's number one. The Adelante today is the leader of Afeni Ferry, even though in active capacity or not, is the leader of Afeni Ferry. And uh, his predecessor cannot be the leader to that to speak. He can only be rest. Okay. 
We're having connection issues with you, Punabo, so I'm going to go back to um, be able to show me. Mr. Show me, again, I, I just want to ask, because I don't think you really necessarily answered the question that I asked, so I'm going to re-ask that question. Okay. The positions of these two gentlemen uh, and all of the people that they have decided to support, does it necessarily reflect the position of the average Yoruba person? I asked this question earlier. Again, and is every Yoruba person subscribed to the Afenifere Pan-Yoruba group? Yes. Um, the, the two leaders of Afenifere, that, that is the Afenifere leader and the acting leader, uh, position as reflected you know, the, the, the division uh, in the circulars. And it captures it accurately. Where you have a handful led by the acting leader, you know, back in Peter B, you have the majority, the vast majority, you know, back in Tinubu, that captures exactly, classically speaking, the with the, 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 the mood of the Southwest, the mood of the Yoruba people. Majority and most Yoruba people at this point in time, for different reasons, would rather have Tinubu than someone else. That is the truth of the matter. And there are still some Yoruba people who, no matter what you say, will never back Tinubu. That is also a fact. But they are in a minority. And that is what the group uh, Shifa Yadi Banjo seems to be talking for currently. So you're telling me that um, every Yoruba person in the southeast or southwest, I beg your pardon, especially uh, in your words, at least 80%, the majority of them, seem to be backing the APC aspirants. What's your yardstick for measuring that? And did you take a poll or a census of sorts? Look, I have gone round the Southwest, Ogun, Oyo, AKT, Ondo. I have also checked the INEC um, list. And where, where do you have got? There's no governorship candidate in Ogun. In many of the states in Southwest, the houses of assemblies are not being contested for. Senate not being contested for. The House of Reps not being contested for. In fact, in Lagos, is a friend of mine, Sumbo Onitri, who is a veteran under PDP, you know, contesting for Lagos Central, who has just left PDP now, trying to pick up Lagos Central tickets from Labour Party. So it's quite obvious. You don't need to go too far, you know, to work these things out. And I have spoken to youth. I then realized that, look, the danger, there is a danger that we take the urban youth as representative of the youth generally. That is not correct. If you look at, for instance, I decided to attend a rally, even though I was a bit anxious. That the the Sheyi um, um, rally in the day. I could see the youth. They are not the same youth on social media. So, if we are not careful, we will get misled. But again, those, you know, those youths that media. you also are making reference to do not necessarily represent all of the young people in the Southwest. So again, maybe you are mistaken. These are all speculations because you have not necessarily told me that you took a poll of the youths in the urban and rural areas and you, you got an answer of sorts saying that we all will vote for Tinubu or we all support him or 80% of us support him. So as far as I'm concerned, this is no. banter between you and I, right? No, no, no. Look at it this way. The, in the Yoruba world, when you leave Lagos, to, to, to some extent it's true of Lagos, when you leave Lagos, there's a way votes are delivered. The traditional institutions are there. People whisper down the line, up to the village head, which we call ballet. This is where we are going. And that is where the people will go. Okay. That is it's a fact. But in Lagos, Lagos is more contested in Lagos. Okay. In a state like Oshun, 
is about the principal uh, uh, godfather. That's how votes move in Oshun. So they all have their peculiarity. But if you analyze them, you will see the trend. Okay. You will see the trend. But in Lagos, I agree and I must admit, there is a huge swell of the youth, you know, which you can't ignore, you know, who are against Inumbu. They are not so not for Atiku, but they are for B. Okay. That's a fact. All right. I think we have Opunabo back. Opunabo, let's, let's again talk about the politics and all the things that have happened um, while this uh, somewhat, uh, some sort of anointing, you know, by pa, Farash, uh, Fasharanti happened. Don't forget uh, that in the news. Place, so I want to get back. Yes, the, the deputy. Can yes, I can hear you. The deputy governor. So let me go. Can you hear me now? By the time you're done with the question, the network will go up again. Okay, well, I, I'll try. Now, the deputy governor of uh, your state was um, actually represented uh, at that event, and he did say that his governor, his principal's position, uh, is right behind the, people, the position of the Yoruba people. What does that translate to politically, especially for someone who's in the opposition, uh, the PDP? Uh, uh, Maria, let me quickly say this. First, I, I, I don't think it is proper uh, trying to be economical with the truth. Can you hear me, please? Yes. Yeah, I don't think it's proper. I think it's, it's, it's mendacious for, to say that somebody that is in the PDP is trying to get a ticket in the APC. I mean, we all know that it's too late. You can't do that right now. So we all know the inclination of my brother. But the truth about it is that, first of all, like I said, you can't have two leaders of a group. You can't have two captains on a ship. It's not possible. Right now, Debajo is the leader. And secondly, it is also important to note that his predecessor said he also prayed for Atiku, and if OB gets there, he's going to pray for OB, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, start out to anoint him a candidate. Yes. Now, I listened to Debajo yesterday when he said, you have the schism in Afghanistan as a result of certain persons who are held bent on trying to, uh, um, how will I put it, plant, plant division, division because of his leadership. Nevertheless, we all have the issue of Washington State, where you, uh, which is supposed to be the APC candidate's uh, state where he lost. He lost. You know, so you have a PDP government there. So I don't necessarily think. What I think is that the members of the uh, Tinubu group blew this whole business out of proportion. Because the man himself has said, look, I also prayed for and blessed Atiku. If Tinubu comes, if Obi comes to work, I will also bless Obi. Mm. It has nothing to do with anointing. That was what. Okay. Open up if you can hear me. Open up if you can hear me. I'm, I'm mostly interested yes. in Governor Mackinday's deputy and his message uh, to the Afeni Fere. Uh, he did say that his governor supports the choice of the Yoruba people. Now, this, this is a governor who belongs to the PDP, who also is on the same boat with a Governor Wike who has been at loggerheads with the presidential candidates of his party. What's your take? Those are moles in the party. I'm not a member of PDP. You know very well, Mary. I told you I'm not a member of any political party. I'm, I'm only called to program on him. I'm not a member of... And I, I, des, I decided that so that I could speak freely, but still going to cast my vote. Even in River State, I'm campaigning for a candidate at the national level. Uh, open up, I think again, we have lost that connection, but if you can hear me, can you hear me, Open up? Unfortunately, I think that connection has gone off. But finally, uh, final questions to you, um, Mr. Shoumi. Uh, with, the, okay. with the campaigns really kicking off proper and we're seeing more and more, you know, push and shove from all across, you know, the divides of the political parties, um, where do we see this going, especially for Afeni Ferre, who's 
which is a house that's somewhat divided against itself. So why should anybody uh, actually want to throw their weight behind the support of whoever, whether it be Pai or Pa Debanjo or uh, Fasharonti? Yes, yeah, this is not the first time um, this should happen. Uh, it has only support in our history. And Chief Ayu Adebanjo has always been taking the position which he is taken, quite often against the majority. Uh, that has always been the case. You need to go back to, to the 60s, uh, the days of the action group, and then understand uh, Chief Ayu Adebanjo. So it's not something strange in the Southwest. It's part of the liberality, uh, the liberal tradition, and part of the plurality of ideas in Southwest. Ideas will compete. At the end of the day, the people will decide where they are going. But from all indications, I think um, the table has been turned, you know, um, towards um, in favor of Tinubu. Currently, that's my reading currently. But that much said, that does not erase the fact that there are a huge, there are many people that are also concerned about Tinubu's candidacy who believes that Obi is a better choice. That's a, true, that's a fact. But they are not in the majority. And the way the politics is played in this part of the world... As much as I want to believe you, I, I, I mean, again, like I said, this is your analysis, but how, yes, many, my, how many Nigerians have you met from the Southwest that would total the number of people in the Southwest or would even reflect a fraction of those people you keep mentioning as the majority. Every single person does have a vote and they will decide who, where their votes will be cast at the end of the day. But I don't think that you can preempt that by a handful of people you see on the streets campaigning. Look, you don't need to go far to work that out. AKT, PDP is non-existent. LBM, Labour Party is non-existent. They've had elections, or should say, I was at the rally when Obi came to address the people in Oshobo. There were over 150,000 people. The candidate of the party was uh, Lassu Yusuf, a former deputy speaker out of red, and yet they only scored 2,746 votes. Okay. 150,000 people attended. It, in Ondo State, Labour Party is virtually almost done as and, and then because again, so I, I want to turn that table because we, we have to go, Mr. Mr. Chowmi, but I want to use that, that, that elastic that you just put out, that example. If you had 150,000 yes. people show up for a, pers a particular candidate and still did not vote him, what's the assurance that those people yes. who showed up for your candidate would vote for him? Yes, they voted for, for, no, no, no. for the traditional parties in that state. Okay. Which is PDP and uh, APC. Okay. Because also, like I mentioned earlier, depends on Godfather. Go and check any time there's a change of government, watch the movement of the Godfather. Uh, all right. We, you and I can keep going it's on, on like this particular... You and I can keep going back and forth on this issue, but then, uh, of course, I'm guessing time will tell um, because we cannot okay. obviously call... Um, you know, who leads in this race or not. But I, I want to say very, a very big thank you. Biodo Shomi is a political analyst and mm -hmm. a veteran journalist. Openabo Inko Tara is a civil rights advocate. Unfortunately, his connection has been very poor. Uh, but Openabo, we hope to have you back sometime soon to have another conversation. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be talking about insecurity, not just in Eboni, but across the southeast, and what the governors are doing about it. Stay with us.